I think the most frustrating part of tonight's loss is that the Denver Nuggets had an opportunity to move up in the standings. OKC Thunder beat the Dallas Mavericks. They had a chance to get a game back behind the Utah Jazz. The Jazz have been sliding. They lost like five straight games, but of course they get right against the Denver Nuggets. The Utah Jazz were without Gobert, Mitchell, Ingles, and Clarkson. And the Denver Nuggets were obviously without Nikola Jokic, Aaron Gordon, Michael Porter Jr., and Jamal Murray. But nonetheless, the game ended 104 to 108, and it was a very winnable game. But when it came down to it, couldn't make enough plays. And it's frustrating, y'all. What's going on, y'all? I'm Swiper Cam. Welcome back to the channel, man. I hope y'all had a great day today. Hope you enjoy watching the game. I know that the MVP did not play tonight, but you got some solid performances tonight. Uh, really, Brent Forbes, you know, we've been talking about him for a while now, y'all. You know, we said it before he even got traded to the team that there's something they're missing. You're missing one of those kind of heater scores off the bench, and Brent Forbes, he fits that to a T. Brent Forbes tonight had 26 points, one rebound, and two assists on 10 of 13 shooting, four of five from three. He was a plus two. Davon Reed had another great game tonight, had 13 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists, was 5 of 7 and 3 of 5, and he was a plus 14. Bones Highland had 10, 2, and 7 tonight, and 4 of 7 and 2 of 4, he was a plus 4. Jermichael Green even was 8, 5, and 1, he was a plus 6. But the ones that struggled tonight were the starters, and everything flipped. And again, not having Nikola Jokic makes a lot of a difference, man. Will Barton tonight... Did not play well uh, the whole game. Had different points where he played decent, but 14, 9, and 4 on 6 of 16. 1 of 4 from 3, 1 of 3 from the free throw line. Really missed one at the end of the game that could have put him behind 3. Um, he was a minus 6. You know, Will Barton just has these moments. I put it on Twitter. I think the best way to describe Will Barton is the more responsibility you give him, the more uneven his game looks. But when you make him a fourth or fifth option, which he is when he's with the healthy starters, then everything works. And he can even be a third option on most nights. And when he's doing really good for a couple weeks, he can be a second option. But that's the thing. He's a role player. And I think people need to realize that, like, because Will Barton gets a lot of playmaking responsibility, because he plays next to Yoke, you know, people have this expectation that he's supposed to be able to do certain things sometime. And, again, it's just – He's going to be wild will sometimes. He's going to take these shots. He's going to miss these shots. He's going to – but he doesn't have, like, a crazy, like, shooting volume, you know, and, and he's not going to do everything you would like a playmaking point guard to do. That's not what he does. But he offers a lot to the team. But tonight, he missed a lot of big shots and especially missed some stuff at the end of the game. Uh, I mean, the Nuggets were tied, like, two, four minutes left or something like that. But then they let go of the rope, and they were down seven all of a sudden on the 9-2 run from Utah. And it was just one of those things, man, where they played hard. They kept it tight the whole game. They even went to the half up one. Uh, but then they just weren't able to close it out. So that was a little frustrating to watch. But Will Barton and I struggled. Monte Morris had 15-3-3 three and three on 7-13, 1-3 of three from three. He was a minus eight. Austin Rivers, 2-3-1, and 1-5. One, one he was a minus six. And Zeke Naji, Zeke Naji had a good game. He was 8-8 eight and eight and 1. He had eight points and eight rebounds, was three of seven from the field, and he was 0 of three from three. Uh, one of them he made, he had his foot on the line. He was two of two from the free throw line. Uh, he was a minus nine, but I honestly thought he really gets some really important stints. And he was playing great defense, man. Like, whenever Utah would come out and they would try to switch on to him on the pick and roll, I mean, he blocked Mike Conley at one point in time. I mean, he was playing really well against Forrest or whoever else was on him. Uh, he did well. Jeff Green did not have a good game tonight. Eight and one and one on three of five, and he was a minus seventeen. It was just one of those nights, man. Like they didn't have anybody, but again, it was close enough at the end. You thought they could pull it out, and again, I think for the sake of the standings, it would have helped for them to get this win. But they didn't. It is what it is. They shot fifty three percent from the field and thirty nine percent from three, and they still lost. Uh, that's because they shot twenty twelve free throws, and Utah shot twenty two free throws. That was another story of the game. Their turnovers. Nuggets had fourteen turnovers. Utah had seven. Uh, but really also, the, man, like the refereeing was terrible. Like the last end of that fourth quarter down the stretch, man, they just really, really, really struggled, man. Like really, really struggled trying to get to the basket and get foul calls. They were, were getting crazy foul calls on them on the other side of the ball. Zeke Naji got flung to the ground, didn't get a call. I mean, overall, the numbers say they played well. And honestly, they should have won the game. It's just the free throw difference and the turnover difference. And again, man, if you don't, 
if you don't do those things and have twice as many turnovers, and I think they had maybe 10 of them, 10 of those turnovers, 11 of those turnovers in the second half, you don't do that, you win the game. So you wish you would have had better guard play, especially with all the guards they played tonight. They only played, you know, three bigs, Zeke, Jeff, and, you know, J. Mike, you know, 6'11", 6'8", and 6'8". They're not like bigs like that. You know, DeMarcus Cousins was out tonight as well. That would have helped, especially in the, in the first half. So it is what it is, man. Um, you know, disappointed. I wish they would have been in a better opportunity to, to move up the standings. And uh, But like I said, this is what happens you don't have your MVP in the game, man. You can't close out games. And it really shows the gargantuan task and responsibility Yoke has. The fact of the matter is that Jamal Murray hasn't been there to be that second man to help with the late game situation, help with the clutch situation. Monte Morris is a backup guard. He's a starter, you know, on a lot of teams, but not on contending teams. And Will Barton, again, he has to be your fourth or fifth man. Can't be your consistent third, definitely not your consistent second, and he's nowhere near uh, a high tier two or a uh, low tier one. That's just not what his, his game set, his skill set is, or uh, even his mind frame. So it's just one of those things, man. You've got to pull out victories like this when they get the opportunity to do so. But the Nuggets are sitting at 28 and 23. They went 4 and 2 in the road trip. That's great. That's great. That's a that's a B plus. That's a B plus road trip. But now the schedule opens up a little bit. They play against the Pelicans. Then they play against the Nets. Who knows who they're going to have? And they play in Denver, so Kyrie will be available for that. Uh, we'll see if James Harden's available. They play against the Knicks. They play against the Celtics, the Raptors, Magic, and then the Warriors. So they got an opportunity to really put together a string of games and get some more victories. But that Raptors game going to be tough. That next game, Kyrie will be tough because Kyrie's very good. Um, the Celtics game can be tough with Jason and Jalen. Um, Magic, again, you got to close those out. And then they got the Warriors. And then they got the Kings and Kings and the Trailblazers. So it's going to be a good month. Not a great start. They started 0 2 to very winnable games. Very winnable game versus the Timberwolves and versus the Jazz. The bench failed them uh, in the game versus the Timberwolves and obviously tonight against the Jazz. So they start off 0 2. So. Not great, not what you want to do at all, but again, it is what it is, y'all. Hey, Swipe Again, man, stay up. Follow me on Twitter, Swipe Again, man. We continue to do it, blow it up, blow it up. Hit that subscribe button, and we're going to be back against the New Orleans Pelicans coming up here soon, y'all. I'm going to see y'all.